Hey guys, this is iGames Helper123, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, a very cool tweak or a way to kind of, um, you know, scarily load up your page in like an app. Pretty much make an, a web app, alright? It's called iWeb Wrapper by Slugrail, obviously. Now, I don't want to get into how he made it or why he made it and how exactly he made it because I honestly would not even understand half of the conversation. Therefore, time is money. I'm not going to waste my own time. You're better off asking Slug how exactly he made it. So, srhapps.blogspot.com, the magical site. You go there, and then the first thing you see, web wrapper sample app is available. He kind of made an update, but um, honestly, I was way too busy to even look at it. That's why um, I couldn't really, you know talk about it so anyways let's just get into sample app package because I did try it and I think it's very sweet so basically you know you have this um, uh, little setup by Mr. Slug here uh, you can find the instructions on this page and uh, I honestly don't I already know how to use it so you know uh, I don't kinda want to get into it because I will actually walk you through it so and then also if you need assistance or anything you can contact um, uh, you can go to the contact form or you just you know kind of was right here exactly how you can contact Slug because since he's like you know pretty much the creator of it so and if you want to ask any questions like basic ones or you know anything like that you can even ask me and I'll try my best to answer you guys since he did kind of give me a lesson on it so anyways download the package and then wait for you know adf.ly to load up um, if you're wondering why everything is everything, every single link is in adf.ly, it's because it kind of helps us, you know, or helps Slug to um, continue developing. Um, that's pretty much Slug, and um, you can even ask him about that too. So once you have iWeb Wrapper downloaded, I already had it downloaded since I gave it a try. Open it in IP Installer if you don't already have it, and then you know. IP installer is gonna do its magic and blah blah blah. You know how IP installer rolls. Click OK and then voila, it is installed. Isn't that good? Okay. Now you go to last wherever you're, you know, last page, and you open up iWeb Wrapper. It loads up like any other app, all right. And then you just kind of click dismiss, and then there's the blog. All right. This is exactly the same thing as um, you going to srhapps.blogspot.com except this does not load up in Safari it loads up in a you know in an app like an app it looks like it's an app well actually it's not so how exactly is this useful to you well basically what you're gonna need to do is make a website alright or you know kind of link um, your site to it so like say uh, my website is you know, or our me and Slug's website is that one development dot com. All right. Now, obviously, it's under construction and stuff. So, you know, we're just going to use this as an example. So, or you can even use some other page. I am not too sure about any other pages like Facebook dot com or something. But you know, you're welcome to experiment with it. So, um, and if you come across any bugs, you obviously know where to contact Slug, and uh, he comes on every day and he will actually look at it. So, and if not, then or if not, then just um, shoot me um, a comment on my blog and I am honestly always online pretty much and uh, I will you know personally talk to Slug about it so and uh, Slug is very active so he'll talk to you guys anyways so we're gonna just copy this alright select all copy cancel or you know just get out and then you copy the, uh, the URL now what the hell to do well the app is right there now we don't need the app and this is nothing like the SRH uh, script that I spoke about in my last few videos about of development with HTML5 on iPhone. Now you kind of have to go to applications, all right, and now you go to uh, iWeb Wrapper, which I can find if I tried. Oh, right there, and then you go to right iWeb Wrapper dot app, and then you go to Text Viewer. And there you go. There's the magical link that made makes everything possible. 
you delete every single thing here you paste it here done save done again go back go back click the home button go back exit out of the um, you know multitasking because it's gonna pretty much have the same uh, page loaded up and then you go launch it again and there you go now I don't honestly know how to uh, get rid of the um, the first page that loads up and uh, I'm sure slug is you know aware of it and well you know that that's pretty much it this is since this is a better version I'm sure slug is uh, gonna look forward to removing that but you know this is still pretty neat that you know nobody knows where this is loading up if this is an IPA package now I was talking to slug about if this is releasable in um, Apple Store like this method it comes out it is actually and if your website is 100% on the uh, on the server it's actually pretty good because you know not a lot of people know how to hack now if there is a hack for a game say you know for example Comet Arms here or Plants vs Zombies or I don't know about Flow Free if you hack Flow Free you're pretty pathetic or Temple Run you know it's all like binary hack or memory hack pretty much for this you can't really do that you'd have to run a script and um, it's great because uh, not a lot of dudes know how to do that and if you do know how to do that then it will be pretty hard to implement into this so anyways you know it's just that it's more secure and I feel like it it would be used a lot too because uh, HTML5 is growing very good now so um, so yeah I think that was pretty good and now let me get to the most important part of the video which is gonna annoy most of you to change the uh... where's I? I? Uh, right there now ch to change the name of the app you need to go to or name and icon icons are right here alright just so you know icons are right here you kinda need to make your own this is for the ipad i believe or this is i think this is the retina actually and I, don't even worry about it just make your own uh, icons and put them right there name them exactly what they are named right now go to info.plist I go to properly list here and then wherever it says iWeb wrapper just name it to your to your you know whatever so uh, I'll just name it test uh, test I think you need to reboot your uh, iDevice in order for it to work perfectly so um, at least that's what I have to do and it's very 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 annoying and uh... or you know what what you can do oh I should have done that why didn't I do that but it's too late because I've already done it but um... okay let's just finish this because um... yeah I think I've changed everything to test alright now you go back change the binary Damn it, what did I just do? Oh crap. Okay, whatever. Anyways, name this to test. Go back and name this to. Oh, I keep on doing that. Come on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, it's 11 26. I just came from work. I had a very, very long day. I must sleep. I'll just name it test.app. Go back and then. Uh oh, hot dogs. Test our app. Copy link. Go all the way back. All right. Now you're gonna go all the way up. Applications. All right. And just paste it right here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Test our app should be in T. So we're gonna go to T. Test our app is right here. Now what to do next is very very simple. Okay. You come here. Make sure this is blah blah blah. All right and then you go to Cydia and get a get a package called AP2 IPA when you install it, it might give you some errors but if you if you need to restart your springboard then you should be all good and go to the mobile terminal log in as root obviously and then type in AP2 IPA type in AP2 IPA dash L this is gonna generate a list now use this side right here just this side works okay to generate the list of apps that are you know installed 
you might not see them on your springboard but test it up is right here so we type AP2 IPA and then if your app has a space put codes if not then just type the name of the app and it's case sensitive so AP2 IPA test that app and it's working on directories and then it's going to create the test.app.ipa and then just say no because nobody uses install this anymore since it's dead and then just use IPA installer to go to the directory oh no shouldn't have done that oh no wait I should have downloads and then you see test.ipa wait for it to install hopefully okay fingers crossed this is gonna work otherwise if not then just reboot your device do it again uh, test and aren't I a genius it worked and apparently the uh, damn thing didn't even show up too the oh no never mind speaking of the devil but you know I, I hope you get my point though it looks pretty sick I like this background right here but you know, click here, the app works fine. This is all jQuery. I quickly made this for the website. I'm actually still working on it. So, you know, this uses uh, iframes, and apparently iframes work perfectly here. And uh, I kind of didn't need it, but, you know, iframes for the, um, whatever. You know, I'm testing stuff out right now since I'm still learning. And then, um, you know, the best part is it does not redirect to Safari. It just loads everything right there on your page so um, iframes work perfectly and I would actually use them like you can see I didn't even put the back button I didn't work on this yet so um, there's my YouTube channel subscribe and uh, I hope you guys like this video if you have awesome ideas comments likes shares blah 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 you know what to do I thank you guys so much for watching this video I will have more cool tricks and stuff like this well, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I will have cool tricks uh, with this um, uh, on the iPad coming up soon. Uh, I don't own an iPad, but my friend does, and uh, you know I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, so I will try to hijack his iPad and try to work on it and see if I can do that. So it'll be pretty sick. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching once again. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and yeah, you know what to do. Alrighty, thanks a lot. See you later.